Here are 10 signs to know if you are dealing with a fake friend. Honestly, I really got about 15 over here. So save this video, send it to a friend to save a life because listen, fake friends are out here, fake people are out here and you need to be able to discern who's really for you because baby, there's a lot of snakes out here, okay? to me hey i'm sarah make sure you like and subscribe for more videos i've had my fair share of real people and fake people i do personally i do not have a large group of friends i, I know a lot of people i have a lot of associates but friend someone that i really bring close to me and you really get to know me it's very very few because there are people who can get jealous of you envious of you and it may not be on how you look or how you carry yourself or your money, but basically your spirit. I've had people who had more than me who still competed with me, who still tried to copy me and think that I didn't see them when I can clearly see you. Listen, so I hope this video helps y'all. Very first thing is, one, they never compliment you. If you have a friend that never compliments you, run. Like they're always critiquing you never have anything nice to say and like for me for instance i am a girl's girl if i see you and you look good you got your hair done makeup done new outfit whatever i'm gonna be like yes girl you look amazing but if you have someone that you keep close or someone that you're getting to know as well and they never compliment you you're the one that's always complimenting them and they don't reciprocate that same effort run please 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 i promise you that's just going to end in, dis in disaster because you also want a girl's girl. You want someone that will also let hype you up and give you your flowers. Number two, they try to embarrass you in group settings. I, there are women, when they are insecure with themselves, when they're not whole with themselves, when they're in a group setting, they will try to publicly embarrass you. But like saying, oh, ha, ha. You know, uh, I had one girl say, oh, Sarah, you're a catfish. But me being whole and the confident woman that I am, you know, when I saw that, I just saw insecurity. Like, okay, you're insecure in yourself. You need to strengthen your relationship with Jesus Christ and understand who you are and not be intimidated by somebody else. So watch out for that. They may try to make fun of you in a public setting. They may joke. They might... You know, especially around men, these are the worst type of women when they, you are around um, op men, people of the opposite sex, men, and they will try to dwindle your light by saying something or saying something intimate that you told them in a public setting because they were trying to embarrass you so they look better, but honestly, they just look stupid. Okay, next thing, they copy you. And I know that they say, um, What's, what's, what did they say? Imitation is a sign of flattery or something? No, that's, that's, no. I personally like pe women that are original, who can be themselves, who will not copy me. I think copying is really annoying, especially at our big grown age. Be yourself, be you, I'ma be me. Um, because these are the type of people, like especially when they, they kind of grow obsessive over you, they try to see how you do certain things and how you do this, and they just pretty much try to, mimic you that's weird another thing is this this one right here is going to require you to have discernment from the holy spirit because baby there was a season where i literally lacked discernment and i kept my enemies close i could not discern who really was for me and who was not until i went to the lord and i'm like lord strengthen my discernment i need to know who's really for me and even people who smile at your face and congratulate you. You need to you listen. The, the sermon will open. It will you, the sermon from the Holy Spirit will expose all things, because I remember there was a woman that I knew, and you know we were both doing the same thing pretty much. They had aspirations of doing this, and I was already doing that. And I remember telling this person my win, and there was a pause, and I heard them say congratulations, and it was just like that, like not like a oh my god. Like, you know what I'm saying? When, when something good happens to my friend, oh my, congratulations, girl. But in their tone, they were like, congratulations. And then that's when I knew, yo, Sarah, this person cannot handle your capacity. There's certain people, there's certain friends that cannot handle 
your anointing. They cannot handle the person that you are becoming. Your wins, your accomplishments can be too much for them. And they're just simply not for you. I've had genuine friendships in my life. And, and for me, that jealousy thing, and it's so crazy because people can have more money than me. They could even be more beautiful. But there's a light, there's an aura, there's something about you that they feel like they lack. Or maybe it's your confidence. If your confidence like me, and there's some women because they're insecure. Although they may have more money, they may have resources. Your confidence is what they desire. And that's something that money cannot buy. Okay? So... As soon as I was speaking to this person, I could hear it in their tone. I'm like, oh, no, Lord, not this one. Not this one. And I just paid attention. Sometimes, you know, the Lord can use people who don't like you or are jealous of you or who want your position to still bless you. Um, and I remember with this particular person, I was always getting dreams about them. I was always getting revelations from the Holy Spirit. I just never said anything until it was time until it was really, really time for me to separate. But that's how you will know. Another thing about them, they're always, um, this is another advice, they're always critiquing you. They never give you helpful advice. They never give you advice that will actually benefit you, but it's more critiquing. Oh, why are you wearing that? Um, you have a typo, and I remember there was one person I was getting to know. This did not last long. It was about two weeks of me being acquainted with this person. They kept critiquing me. Oh, Sarah, you have a typo, you should fix that. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Like always nitpicking. I'm like, mm -mm -mm. this one right here, you're trying to critique me to make you feel big when I see the spirit disconnect. Okay. Another thing is watch how people act when you get attention, when you get that accomplishment, when people are clapping for you, when they're congratulating you, watch how this person acts because most of the time they're rolling their eyes. They're not clapping for you. They're like, mm. Listen, pay attention to that. Pay attention to that because sometimes, and it's the craziest thing because it, it tends to be the people closest to you. You think that it's people from afar who don't know you. No, it can be people that you thought were your close friends, people that are in the same group as you, people in your family. You just have to pay attention to that and deal with the spirit. Another thing, they never support your content. They never support what you're trying to do, whether it is your business whether it's your content creator, your ministry, you see them liking everybody else's stuff, reposting everybody else's stuff, but then when it comes to you, silence. This is something that I pay attention to. So there's certain people that I've wanted to collaborate in the past, but I see, okay, you're reposting, you're liking everybody else, but when it comes to me, silence. And, and it's unfortunate that we give so much more support to people that we don't know than the people that are actually connected to us. But I peep that and I'm like, I bet that's how you move. Cool. I already know how you work. Cool. And sometimes it's women of God. So watch out for that. Make sure that you're really rooting for the people that are connected to you. Another thing is pay attention to when you're around them. How do you feel? What's that? atmosphere feels like what is the energy i hate saying that but what what is the what's the vibe do you feel comf do you feel um do you feel comfortable do you feel like you can, it's a safe place or do you feel deranged do you feel uncomfortable do you feel like unsettled that like you can't really tell this person certain things and also another thing is pay attention to your dreams pay attention to any revelations that the holy spirit gives you in regards to people there are certain people that i've wanted to connect with but then the lord will show me something about them and i'm like ah, 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 i'm good i remember there was one person that i wanted to be friends with and i remember we hung out one time and i was praying and i was fasting in regards to just the connections that i have and making sure i have people that are really for me and i had a vision or excuse me I had a dream about this person and they were pretty much attacking me and that's how i knew okay this person uh uh uh, uh they're not for you just disconnect from them love them from a distance and that's all you can do and i don't want people to sleep on this because you really do need to use discernment because i remember the friend that i was telling you about that not friend the person that i was telling you about that called me a catfish publicly right i remember i was hanging out with this person this was a couple years ago we went to sleep we were having a sleepover and i went to sleep i woke up at 2 a.m in the morning and this person was staring at me sleep in the middle of the night i kid you not so um 
yeah so i don't i don't play when it comes to jealousy i don't play when it comes to envy i don't play and the crazy thing is she had access to so much more than me her family was well off but she had so much but again when people see your light when people see how you're doing things again it it, it eats at them um and that's where you need to get that wholeness from jesus alone because that's where i got my confidence from because at one point i was insecure and i was comparing myself to other women too so i've been there but it wasn't until like I found myself, healed myself, that's whenever I became this whole new creature where when I see women who try to intimidate me or pick at me or, you know, they try to take my kindness for weakness or they try to nitpick at my body or whatnot. And I just look at you and I'm just like, that's so sad. Like, seek help. <laughs> that's the way I see it. Um, another, another instance, again, how does that when how does the room feel? I remember I was supposed to hang out with a girlfriend. Um, I've been to her apartment before and I complimented. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Like, I was just complimenting her, you know. And uh, we, were, we went to a comedy night. And I remember that same day I got my hair done because it was just time for me to get my hair done. And she came over my place. First off, as soon as she saw me, she never complimented on my new hair. My new dude. She never said anything. So I'm like, okay, Sarah, maybe I'm just fishing for compliments. Let me relax. She came inside my apartment. The complete atmosphere changed. She looked around. And I, ha I, 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 I tend to like the finer things in life. And in Nashville, because I was literally living by faith, sometimes I, I complain about, you know, my situation or living on faith. And she, she was very high in her career as far as financially, right? But when she saw my place, she was literally like flabbergasted um, because I had a really nice apartment and I decorated it very well. So sometimes people, when I tell them about, you know, my struggles and they see the way that I'm living, they can't put two and two together because they're like, they don't understand that I'm covered by God and everything that I've been given and provided for is literally by the grace of God. Um, even if I don't have much financially, right? It's all because of the Lord. Like he will just grant me favor and I will be at the, like people don't understand that. So when she came over my house, mind you, this friend never complimented on my hair. When she came over my house um, in Nashville, she looked around, she didn't say anything. And I tell y'all, I felt the spirit, the whole room shifted. She didn't say anything. So I'm like, hey, so I'm coming, I'm complimenting you. I've complimented your house. I'm hyping you up, but as soon as you see me and you see me doing good and you see how God has been providing for me, you can't compliment me back. I already knew. After that night, I literally never spoke to her again. Like I literally was like, this person cannot handle when the Lord, if you are mad at me, listen, if you have people who cannot handle you right now, and you haven't even reached the peak of what God has showed you and told you, you've got to disconnect yourself from those people. So that night I knew I said, this friend, this person, she cannot be my friend. She cannot handle where I'm going, the pe where I'm coming. And, you know, they can't fathom how God has been providing for me, quite literally. So I already knew. But I'm telling you, it was like you will feel the room shift. It'll become uncomfortable you will feel like this person was just looking just looking just try, trying to trying to she's trying to understand Sarah how are you able to afford this how do you have, how's your place so nice and I'm more successful than you quote unquote but she doesn't understand I'm covered by God so you will experience things like that again I've only had a handful of friends who truly supported me who truly did not compete with me who are not jealous of me who understood the light that they carried and i still like i'm like yo like they're real friends like that jonathan and david friendship where you know david was appointed to be king and jonathan who was actually the king's son which was his rightful position quote unquote not even being jealous of david rooting for david protecting david those type of friendships people are so rare so if you have one or two or three you are truly blessed and then when i think about friendship i think people use it too lightly we use the term friend bestie too lightly no a friend is someone who will be there for you through the good and bad times you will have many people around you when you're good, life is good, you're buying drinks, you're buying them food, brunch. But when life hits the fan, 
when you're down to your last dollar who can you call when you need to borrow 20 when you need to borrow some money who can you call when you are sick that is the true definition of friend i don't need friends that i can go to brunch with i'll go to brunch by myself to be honest friend when people say friend when i when i when, when i call you my friend right you are literally my sister you are literally my sister in christ someone that i can count on you need something from me i'm the type to take my shirt off my back to help you but you've got to understand not everybody has that same heart as you not some not everyone has the same capacity as you do so you have to use discernment you have to ask the lord like lord bring me people who are truly for me who truly have my best interests at heart and if they're not for me remove them remove them because you need ha you need to have balanced friendships. You need people who can cheer for you, who will support you. You know, if you're going through a rough patch, they got you. And they're going through a rough patch, you got them like it should be reciprocated. Um, and sometimes you may not even get the love from your family. So, so maybe some of y'all, you know, you're not close with your family. You're not, you know, just, again, I think um, the scripture even says a friend is stronger than a family something like that than a brother a friend is closer than a brother something like that i may be completely wrong but for those who know you you know please listen to the signs you, you you there's too many people who are going through a cain and abel situation where you have your best buddies with somebody who secretly hates you who wants your spot who cannot wait for you to give them bad news so they can secretly just be joyful or people who are praying for your downfall quite literally praying that Lord that God doesn't bless them and God blesses them instead but how can you pray to God for that person not to be blessed and you think God is going to answer you no that's your you're, that's witchcraft there are people that are literally when they see you in a relationship they're praying for that relationship to fall when people see you that they're you're blessed, they're praying that you don't. I'm telling you, people are wicked in this world. So use discernment in regards to the people that you keep close. And if you're like me, you know, I can network. I know how to talk to people. I can make, I make plenty of associates. But again, use discernment on who you call friend. I would rather have one genuine friend who I know got my back than have 10, 20 people who I go brunch to brunch with, who, who I can't even call when I'm going through a hard time. Who, who it was, you know what I'm saying? Like quality over quantity. Um, I hope this video helped those who needed this. And if there's anything else that y'all think that I left out, comment it down below and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.